Good morning. I'm going to be leading us in our base camp devotion this morning on prayer. I'm going to start by reading an extract from Philippians 4, um, verses 4 to 8. I'm going to read from NLT if you'd like to follow along. Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all you do. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all that he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honourable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Now, that to me feels like a really big challenge in times like this. I think it's so easy for our minds um, to go straight to worry, straight to panic, straight to what do we do? Um, and think about all of the restrictions and the things that we can't do. Instead, Paul is asking us here to just turn that on its head. Don't worry, pray to God. God cares about our worries. He cares about things that are upsetting us and concerning us. And he's saying, when we pray to God, we need to thank him for all the things that he's doing. This time is hard, it is, but we've still got so much to be thankful for, especially as we've had Easter recently. We're thanking God for sending his son Jesus and dying for us. We can thank God for the amazing sunshine that we've had. <laughs> we thank God that we have homes to stay in. This is a challenge and I'm going to challenge you the same, but today really try to focus um, on them positive thoughts. And if you sense that worry creeping in, take it to God in prayer. Let's just pray. Father, I thank you that you are a God that cares about the things that concern us. However insignificant it might be, it matters to us and it matters to you. I just pray, Lord, that you'll help us um, look for the silver linings in this time. And there are so many. When we begin to look, another will creep in and another and another until we're filling our head with those positive thoughts, as Paul encourages to do. Thank you for your word. And I thank you that it can bring encouragement to us at this time. And I just pray that you will um, highlight verses to us and be that real sense of encouragement and peace in this time, we pray. Amen.